हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू शोर ऑफ क्लासेस एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट एमाइलेज एंजाइम एमाइलेज दैट कैन ब्रेक अल्फा ग्लाइकोसाइडिक लिंकेज बिटवीन ग्लूकोज मोनोमार सो देयर आर ग्लूकोज मोनोमार ग्लूकोज मोनोमार मोनोमार लेट मी चेंज द पेन कलर एंड इन बिटवीन दिस ग्लूकोज मोनोमार देयर इज alpha glycosidic linkage glycosidic linkage and this linkage breaked by the enzyme that is amylase amylase so amylase break alpha glycosidic linkage now what we have asked hence amylase can digest which one of the following carbohydrates so that is the question now let me tell you one thing just let me insert a page okay so now amylase that is a digestive enzyme amylase that is a digestive enzyme just enzyme that acts on starch that acts on starch so it break down in smaller pieces so in smaller pieces smaller pieces smaller pieces of what smaller pieces so i'm just writing it as this of carbohydrates molecule carbohydrate hydrate molecules now this amylase digestive enzyme that first we used in our saliva means saliva that produce saliva that produce amylase amylase that breaks our starch molecule first into small carbohydrate molecules carbohydrates molecule okay so this is our whole thing now let's get back to the question there we have options cellulose starch chitin and xylan so obviously starch will be the correct answer so option b is the correct answer that is starch that the amylase can digest the starch carbohydrate So now moving to the next question here the question is about metabolic pathway so there are some metabolic pathway and we have asked which is common to both fermentation and cellular respiration so fermentation and cellular respiration and the answers the options are the tca cycle etc glycolysis synthesis of acetal coa from pyruvate and the correct answer will be option c that is glycolysis why because it takes part in aerobic aerobic and anaerobic aerobic both the respiration respiration to convert glucose into pyruvate glucose into pyruvate so clearly in this metabolic pathway in this four metabolic pathway this glycolysis that is the answer that takes both part in fermentation and cellular respiration so glycolysis will be the correct answer for this following question now this question is really interesting just 
listen to me this is seriously interesting this question is about a spotted sandpiper so a female sandpiper that courts male repeatedly this behavior can be explained by which term so these are the term that is polyandry polygyny monogamy and sexual cannibalism so let me tell you one thing that mating of a single female um, doing this sign to to signaling or to make you understand that is a female that is f and i'm crossing or making them mating with a male that is male okay so this is female and that is male now this several this mating is called that is mating of a single female with several males that is called polyandry so this is the answer that is polyandry but i want to explain my answer for you polyandry so this is the typical form of mating system that is mating system okay now so this is a typical mating system so after mating what happens if female crosses with a male then in the next step that female get pregnant okay so i'm doing it like this so after she get pregnant she go for incubation time incubation time and terminates the relationship with this male partner to lay eggs then after she lay eggs so this is called polyandry this formula is called polyandry and normally this type of species breed in north america north america so the correct answer will be polyandry for this question so thank you for watching this video